Real quickly before this video starts, if you haven't checked out the ride on the northernmost segment into downtown, go back and watch that. Link will be in the description. Thanks and enjoy this video. That way the previous video I did on this route um, is the most popular video on my channel. Thanks so much for all the support. Wait. Wait. Wait to cross East Palomar at Heritage Station. Wait. Here I am, I am actually coming up to where the bus will be. I'm at the Heritage Park Station. You can see um, buses in this direction head towards the Ote Mesa and International Border area. And it's actually pretty nice. There's information panels and benches so that people can have a seat while they're waiting for the bus to come. And actually, in this clip, the bus is actually pulling up to the station. And as you can see, there was a Route 712 that was parked next to it. And here it comes, actually pulling up right about now. So we'll go ahead and get on board and let's go for a ride. we have just left. There was an emergency sighting that we just passed up so that um, defective vehicles can pull off. Uh, we've stopped at Monarch Drive due to a red light. I'll point out various locations in this voiceover. crossing and coming up next we'll be running alongside Harvest Park as we get closer to Santa Flora BRT crossing Santa Flora BRT crossing. This BRT crossing is at Santa Delfina. Coming up after the Santa Delfina crossing, you'll notice there will be a little side pocket out here indicating future expansion to the Southwestern College main campus. It's one of those community colleges. And now we're crossing La Media, which is a primary road through this portion of San Diego. And we'll be coming up to Lomas Verdes very shortly. And here is the Lomas Verde station. There were no passengers there, so we just passed right through there without stopping. And this is not like the Metro Orange Line in Los Angeles, which um, pauses at every station, regardless if there's any passengers there or not. And we are headed down. And there's a Santa Rosa BRT crossing. We'll actually be stopping at the Olympic one, and we're going to skip here, and we'll cut over to Santa Venetia. And here is um, departing Santa Venetia. We're about to go on to a bridge that will take us over Route 125. It's a toll road.
And here's the Route 125 toll road. And we're now on the opposite end. We're going to go alongside the Otay Ranch Town Center. Now this segment is actually quite similar to the Metro Orange Line in LA itself since it runs alongside the streets rather than in the median of the streets. We just passed Town Center Drive and we're going to be making a corner just past this uh, AMC. I honestly prefer Regal because they have better deals than AMC. You can see we're on an articulated coach. You can see the other side. And now we'll get on to the 125 itself. But before we can get there, here's a look at the newly developed Millennia community. And here we are turning onto Birch Road to get onto the 125. And if you look on your left, there is a new town center that's opening up in Millennia. There's actually going to be a cost plus world market going in there. So there's finally going to be one that's much closer to my studio than all the other locations. So I won't have to go out to Grossmont. And also, as you can see right now, there is also home goods opening up in that area. There will also be an Ares Hotel in this area as well. Now we're getting on to the 125. This is actually a toll road. Usually there is one lane dedicated for fast track users, so that's a little transponder you can get so you can bypass the toll booths and you can basically preload it like a debit card and you can use it to pay your tolls throughout California. asking, um, I believe the installed power is in Cummins ISL. I know this one kind of relates, but this kind of looks like a average hillside in uh, northern England. But surprisingly, this is actually in Southern California, just a little bit north of the Mexican border, which we're actually on our way to right now. And um, I personally refer to this area as Alta California because once you're across the border, you're in Baja California. And we're now on Ote Mesa Road because for an odd reason. I'll point that out a little bit later. actually a truck crossing so trailers have their goods unloaded for customs procedures and they're loaded back on another tractor comes in to pick the trailer up and then it takes it further north to their final destination and that's basically how trade works and we're pulling into the Otay Mesa Transit Center 
see some of the other bus bays over here. And surprisingly, the postal address for this transit center is actually off of Tesla Courts. We have seen that in the distance. There's a 950 that terminates over here as well. It goes over to Iris. And now we're pulling into the rapid platform. There was actually an ATM over there as well. Get off. Here we are. There goes one of the urban places. Hey, you can see all this signage indicating people where they would go. We are going to go this way towards the passenger pickup areas only because yeah that way goes towards the Mexican border we're actually proximity to it now I normally don't do this but I decided to film the return trip as well because I want to show you how good this bus actually turns around the Millennia community. So here we are pulling into the Millennia station. And this is what I mean. This is the turn I was talking about. And you can see all these beautiful, fancy apartments and condos that people can actually rent. So people near the area can move into this area and then as they progress, they can then use any sufficient income to move elsewhere in the area. And we'll also be running alongside the suburb of East Lake. And just before I making it San Diego can get very tricky. We are back where we started at the Heritage Station. Um, this bus will continue to downtown. As I said, see the other video I did on this route to see that portion. I'll have a little overview video coming out in case you want general information about the project because this has been a very long time in the making and I'm just very glad that it is complete. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell to join the notification squad. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.